Hi and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at the planter roll and what tends to happen in the planter roll uh, out in industry today versus some areas where the planter should move their focus. Uh, so if we think about what the planter is typically doing today, the reality unfortunately is we're at ratios that are way above uh, where the planter can be effective. Uh, things like 40 to 1, 20 to 1, there's just way too many folks for the planner to plan for. And so what tends to happen is they still try to create a plan for all the work that should be planned. And it makes each one of those plans ineffective. And so they focus on areas like creating a time estimate, some of the job steps, and in some cases they're even you know, working on rush jobs or emergency jobs or jobs they shouldn't be working on at all. And so they're trying to juggle all these balls and essentially they're ineffective. And what I typically tell folks to do is scale down to a pilot. If you are at a ratio that is greater than 15 to 1, uh, it is unlikely you'll be very effective. And at 15 to 1, if you don't already have your spare parts list, your bill materials list created, you're not already using classifications, you're not already saving things to a job plan library, it's really hard to be effective even at 15 to 1. And so what I tell folks to do is scale down to a pilot area. Get control of an organization of about 10 folks. And for those 10 folks, here's the areas we want you to focus on. Materials. Plan all the materials. Now, we're not talking about free issue items, but anything other than free issue items, you should plan all materials for all work in terms of planned jobs. Focus there. And then make sure that the, the follow-up work that will eventually make your job easier as a planner is what you focus on. What that means is get the bill of material list together. So if you order a bearing for a pump, get the bearing on the bill of material list inside your CMMS, associate it with that pump so that the next time it happens, you're not searching through manuals, you're not Googling things, you're not taking trips out to the plant floor. Your job is to look up the bill of material list and order the right bearing. Uh, job plan library. So when you do create a job plan for replacing that bearing, save the job plan to the library. You can associate either specifically to that pump and put the parts on it, or you can make it more generic in terms of how to replace the outboard bearing of a, of a pump or a motor or whatnot. Uh, and, but save the job plan to the library. And last but not least, classifications. So when you swap out a motor, write down the frame size and the horsepower and the service factor and all the things that are classification attributes inside the CMMS so that next time you need to find one, uh, you can just look at the classification electronically and order a motor that is appropriate, uh, assuming you don't have to do an OEM swap. So if it's uh, something you can do like for like change or like in kind change, uh, then the classification attribute system allows you to look up those attributes and order a part that will essentially do the job for you, you know, do the, the, the appropriate job. So focus on materials 100%. Focus on build, building your bill of materials and your classifications and save your job plans to your library. Stop spinning your wheels. Look, today a whole bunch of jobs are going out into the field and they're not very effective. That's okay. For the ones you do plan, get all of this done. I'd rather see you do one job like this each day and let a couple of them go by like this, and maybe even you don't plan one, than try to do a little bit to every job, but none of them are truly effective. And then you're not doing the things that will make you more effective in the future as a planner. So focus on these items here and your job will become easier in the future as a planner. Additionally, you'll make an impact to those 10 folks and improve their efficiency to a point where you can justify adding another planner uh, or three or whatever it's going to take to hit that 40 to 1 ratio down to 10 to 15. So focus in these areas, make an impact where you can improve your future and justify the additional planner that's necessary.